Tonight, investigators fear a 15-year-old girl missing for two years may be dead. That after her parents told detectives she was living with her grandmother here in Asheville since 2011. Police now think Erica Parsons' adoptive parents completely made up the story. Investigators in Rowan County are taking the lead on the case, but tonight are speaking with detectives here in Asheville. News 13's Kimberly King joins us live in the Asheville Police Department with more on what police know about this girl. Kim? Frank, they know that Erica has been missing for two years, and both Asheville police and Erica's family members now believe that her adopted parents may be at the center of a criminal investigation by tomorrow. A family member reported 15-year-old Erica Parsons missing just two weeks ago. But in fact, investigators believe she's been missing since 2011. Police think her adopted parents, Casey and Sandy Parsons, who live in Salisbury, made up an alibi and lied, saying Erica came to live with her grandmother in Asheville in 2011. I am so worried. I'm so worried. This is such a precious child. No one ever wants to lose their child. Janet and Steve Parsons haven't seen their granddaughter for the last year. They believe their son and daughter-in-law may now be lead suspects. That's my fear if something happened and nothing, nobody's telling us. Uh, I'm not talking about the law. I'm talking about my boy and my daughter-in-law. Family members tell News 13 tonight they went to police with allegations Erica was being abused by her adoptive parents. Social services is now involved. Sergeant Dave Romick with Asheville Police says the Asheville story is suspect. I find it odd that if she was reported here in October of 2011, I find it odd that we haven't come across her, we haven't stumbled across her before now. Uh, and certainly what concerns me is we haven't been notified about this until now. The fact Erica has been missing two years, he says, is serious. It's an eternity. Two years in a missing persons case is an eternity. The fact a relative reported her missing just two weeks ago is also troubling. That doesn't add up. Her adoptive parents have not spoken publicly, but their lawyer maintains their daughter wanted to live in Asheville and simply never came home. And that's why I think she, they believe she was being a rebellious teenager who did not want to come home with them. Erica was adopted when she was just two weeks old. Now, family members that I spoke to tonight told me that they know more information about the case, but police have asked them not to comment because this is still an active investigation. Reporting live downtown at police headquarters, Kimberly King, News 13.